Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and I just got done watching the Iron Man 3 trailer, and whoa. Uh, to call this thing explosive would be a bit of an understatement, because frankly, it looks like somebody has a hot nut to take Tony Stark down a peg, and by the end of this trailer, it has taken him down several. Um, you know, basically, we begin with a sort of voiceover from Tony Stark himself, Robert Downey Jr., and he's talking about, you know, he really realizes now he owes people apologies. I can only surmise that he's talking about Pepper because he seems to be talking to her during this discussion as well as Rhodey and maybe even Nick Fury and his fellow Avengers because he goes on to say the events in New York referring specifically to the events in Avengers having changed everything having I think given him an awareness that you know the lifestyle he's been leading up to now has been very pompous very full of himself somewhat a, a cavalier lifestyle and that devil may care attitude has potentially been putting the people he cares about Rhodey Pepper herself in danger and I think he's suddenly aware of that now he talks about not being able to sleep at night and when he does he has nightmares and so I think it's really hit home sort of that uh, you know circle of humiliation because as we see this all happens to coincide with some very ominous forces wanting to take him down and I mean when you see scenes like every one of his Iron Man armors being blown up one by one and you see a helicopter firing missiles at his house and just dunking that thing in the ocean with him and Pepper in it, um, that is some <laughs> big time stuff, essentially. Uh, when it comes to the villains of the piece, we see a very malevolent looking guy, Pierce, for a brief few frames. And uh, in that small amount of time, you can tell he is someone not to mess with or not to be messed with. And uh, But then the buck stops at the Mandarin, Ben Kingsley as the Mandarin. You know, when I heard that this was going to be the villain for Iron Man 3, I just said to myself, they really have to blow this story out of the water for me to swallow it. And uh, quite frankly, when you see Tony Stark's house being dunked into the water, that's blown me successfully out of it. So um, I just think there's some big doings coming for this movie. I mean, you see the rings, the Mandarin's rings. You see Pepper seemingly. Uh, when you see an Iron Man armor come to their bedside and almost seem to steal her out of bed maybe, and then you see her being held captive, Tony's left for dead in this sort of, you know, wintry wasteland, much akin to how he was left in the desert in the first Iron Man film. And of course, you saw some uh, brief glimpses of Rhodey in the Iron Patriot armor and some aerial battles and explosions out the ass. This looks like it's just going to be such a kick-ass movie. I am definitely chomping at the bit. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. If you've seen the trailer, which I'll link below, what did you think of it? Did it get your excitement just, you know, ready and pumping for Iron Man 3? Uh, or did it leave you flat? I'd be very surprised if it did. So that's pretty much going to be it for me on this one, and I'll catch you later. Peace.